but uh, this is so this is so you don't see Sniffy's mouth move when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sniffy does keep me on a short leash. He doesn't let me oversleep. He schedules our walks. And, he, and, he, and when we go out, he makes me dress for the occasion. Unlike him, he can go out naked and, you know, maybe I'd like to go out like that. He won't let me. He says it's for aesthetic reasons. But, uh, what's that, Sniffy? Uh, he said I should, I should remain dressed, but the audience is allowed to, is allowed to disrobe. <laughs> so... I promised nudity. You didn't realize it was going to be yours. <laughs> Maybe you better have another drink. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if we can't do nudity, we'll talk to nudity. Uh, the last poem is, a, is, is about that. If you believe in Adam and Eve, just think of how they were first blessed. If they ate the right food, they could go about noon and never would have to get dressed. Adam wasn't equipped with a fly to keep zipped or a cumbersome suit with a vest. Eve hadn't the woes of runs in her hose. Now wasn't that all for the best? They be naked this day, are they not going to stray and committed original sin? Today people are shy of the naked eye. Many cover up up to the chin. Yet some something persists in us that resists and insists we should be as they've been. Some pristine bit remains in our overgrown brains. We are all nudists under the skin. Thank you. <laughs>